equity you are referring to a shareholder's interest where you will find an amount of money invested to start this business we are referring to equity some they call it equity but with equity you are referring to a situation again where it's an asset minus liability then you get your equity part an amount of money being contributed by the owner or the owners of the business by the owner i'm referring to a one-man owned business but by the owners it might be partnership it might be a close corporation it might be a public company it might be a private company where an owner where you might have a situation where you are having more than one owner then we call it then we call it capital contributed by the owners okay your equity account increases on your credit side but it decreases on your debit side so if your equity account is affected on a particular transaction it means that it might be the situation where this equity account is increasing or this equity account is decreasing for example if an owner decides to if an owner decides to contribute an amount of money with the purpose of starting a business or with the purpose of making sure that his idea is being realized by starting this particular business that particular owner will need to raise capital whether from his own savings or whether from his own savings or from or from the money or amount of money that was borrowed now in this case you will you will do what your equity will increase so if it's a capital your bank account will be increasing on the debit side then contra account will be your capital because it's an amount contributed by the owner an amount of money contributed by the owners so you will debit bank because it's money into the company's bank account and you will credit what capital because it's their equity part so whenever you see capital on the credit side you must understand or you, it must give you a clue that an amount of money was contributed it might be contributed for the first time it must be contributed for the second time and third time making sure that this particular owner keeps on injecting an amount of money for this particular company to continue to survive and to for this particular company or entity to be a going concern now let us look at drawings account drawings we are referring to or some textbooks will call withdrawals this account we are referring to a situation where the owner will take an amount of money from the capital that he has contributed for his or her own personal use or the owner of the business or owners of the business will take stock trading stock or inventory for their personal use or for his or her personal use we are referred to drawings now drawings they have what we call a negative effect towards your capital or a negative effect towards your equity it means that by nature we are trying to discourage the we are trying to discourage owners from what from withdrawing an amount of money that was invested or from taking goods or stock or trading stock or inventory for their personal use so the drawings is will always have a negative impact will also have will always have negative effects with regards to equity for example, an owner took an amount of money, 50,000 rand for his personal use. You will debit drawings because the equity part 
is being affected, but affected negatively. So the more drawings you are having, the more your equity account will be affected negatively. So you will do what you debit equity using an account drawings and credit bank because also bank as an asset is being reduced because an amount of money is being taken. Meaning that whenever you are recording an entry, you should be able to tell by looking at that particular entry whether it was money in or money out, you can able to read that particular entry and have an idea as to what happened by looking at the accounts affected and how are these accounts affected, debit or credit. So let's assume that the owner took goods or trading stock for his personal use or personal purposes. You will do what? You will also again debit your drawings account, but you will credit your trading stock because an asset is being reduced, but here drawings are increasing. But the more drawings, the more your equity account is affected negatively. So I'm done with the equity under double entry system. On to the next slide. Let us look at your income account. Your income